Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can easily match or even skin tones or skin color when it comes to Photoshop. And I want to show you this how by using two adjustment layers. That is the empty layer and only the curves adjustment layer. Let me show you a quick before and after for what we're going to be achieving. So this is the image initially before and this is the after, before, after, before, after. You can see initially the face was not matching with the rest of the body and this can result or this can be caused by the application of makeup on the face and maybe the rest of the body tends not to match with the rest of uh, the face that the makeup was applied onto. So you can see what you're going to be achieving. So I'm just going to delete all this and I show you how you can achieve this kind of look. So just come the background layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J or you can use Command J on the keyboard. So Ctrl J or you can use Command J on the keyboard, create a duplicate or a copy from the background layer. And after creating that copy, we are simply going to come and first of all, create a selection around the subject. So just come to select and come to subject and Photoshop is going to automatically help us select the subject in this case. So right now that the, sele the selection of the subject has been made, the next step is going to be working on the skin. So you want to create a layer that is going to be containing the color of the skin. So I'm just going to come to the layers and create a new empty layer. So come to where you see no more and change the, the blend mode to color. And after we have done that, just come and get the brush tool. So this is the normal brush tool. Make sure the hardness is set to zero. Soft round brush is selected. The mode is normal, opacity at 100%, flat 100%. And we're just going to zoom into our photo. So use Ctrl plus or you can use Command plus on the keyboard. And we're just going to sample a color on the skin that we want the rest of the skin to look like or to emulate. So I'm just going to hold down the Option key on the keyboard. So if I told you using Mac, hold down the Option key on the keyboard. Then if I told you you are using Windows, hold down the Alternate key on the keyboard and left click on the color that you want to sample on the skin. So I'll sample around the nose area. So alternate and left click to sample a color. So as soon as you sample that color, it is going to be displaying under the color swatches or right in the color panel right there. Use command minus to zoom out and you are going to start painting over the area that you want correct in this case. So I'll paint on the neck area and on these arms. Reduce on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and just paint on each and every area that contains skin. So the purpose of selecting the subject initially is because when it comes to these edges, we did not want to paint some parts of the background. That is why we created that selection around the subject to give us a guideline or a guiding line for where to paint and where not to paint during the toning process of uh, the skin of our subject. So I'll paint just like that on the fingers. So make sure that as you're doing all this, make sure that each and every area that has or contains skin has been painted well. So I'll paint right on the fingers and this area between her accessories and on the neck area. So right now we are done painting on majority of the areas, but this doesn't look natural enough. So just come to the opacity right here of the empty layer that is selected and reduce on the opacity so that the color can look a little bit better and realistic. So we're going to zoom into the face area and also brush around some areas that have some makeup inconsistencies like around the eye area just there and also paint on the chin area just like that. And by just doing this you can see that we are now creating and even looking skin color or skin tone. Remember to keep on using different sizes of the brush as you're painting on the skin, just like that. So to reduce on the size of the brush, you can use the bracket keys on the keyboard. So the box bracket keys are going to play around with different sizes of the brush as you're painting during this very process. So I've painted on majority of the areas that have skin. So if at all you have accidentally painted on a given area that you do not want paint, just come and get the eraser tool 
and measure the mode set to brush and the hardness is set to zero mode is brush opacity and the flat 100 percent you can simply erase the color from an area that you did not want paint in the first place so you can see when i paint that it's going to rub or erase the effect from that particular area so i'm just going to press b for the brush and paint back the effect in that area so you can see i'm painting just like that so after i've painted on the areas and i feel like i'm comfortable or satisfied with uh, the results the next thing is going to be creating some brightness over the chest or the neck and the chest area and the hands and before you do that make sure you deselect de or you, you deactivate the active selection so press ctrl d you can use command d to deselect the active selection then you're going to come to the adjustments and create a curves adjustment layer so when the curves adjustment layer has been selected you're just going to click in the middle and create a pointer and drag it up until when you feel like the lower part of the body is bright enough then now the effect is affecting the overall image so make sure you press ctrl i to invert the effect so press ctrl i or you can use command i to invert the effect then you're going to come to the brushes and get the brush tool once again make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches so if at all you have any other color apart from black and white, you can reset by pressing D on the keyboard or you can simply left click on the tiny swatches. Make sure white is a foreground color. So we want to reveal what was hidden behind this black mask. So we're just going to get the brush tool and simply increase on the size. So we are using or painting using a soft round brush. And the hardness of the brush is set to zero. So I'm just going to paint onto the neck area, reduce on the size, and make sure that every area on the neck that we want to brighten has been painted really well. So after doing that, you can always come to the properties and make sure you feather that in so that it can look better. But this is a little bit too much and it is way brighter than the face. So just come the opacity and simply drop down or reduce on the effect or the opacity of the brightness. You can see before, after, before, after. Right now everything looks better. So I feel like the effect is a little bit too much. So I'll just go with around 66 before and after. And let me show you a quick before and after for everything that we have done in this tutorial. So this is the image before, after, before, after. Right now the skin looks nice and even so when you feel like the color is a little bit too much for your liking you can create one final adjustment layer which is the hue and saturation adjustment layer come and target the red color or the reds and you can drop down to the lightness and simply take down the lightness so that the effect can look a little bit natural and reduce on the amount of oranges especially in the skin tones of our subject so this is i can easily match or even skin color when it comes to photoshop and if i told you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if i told you have been watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and seeing yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating